motherfucking deal, YouTube. This your boy Hoodie Gang Dante, right back in the motherfucking building. Uh, uh, please comment, like, and subscribe on this video. Uh, I really appreciate y'all so much. Uh, thank y'all for all the love and the support. I really appreciate y'all so much. I love. Let's get right into the video. First of all, I want to give a big shout out to my whole clan, aka HG Hoodie Gang. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to my family, shout out to my friends, shout out to everybody that support me. Let's get right into the video. I hope everybody uh, watched my uh, motivation video that I made at 3 o'clock this morning. I really appreciate you guys that already watched it. I know I, I try to touch some people's hearts, but like I say, it was just in my mind. And like I say, I just, just went on and made it because that was on my heart and stuff. And I wanted to inspire uh, some of you young kids and people that's going through things, you know, hey, man, let's uh, just, you know, life is short, man, and you want to live it, man, as long as you could, so let's get right into the video, uh, NFL news, uh, this weekend, you know, I have I caught, I was caught catching up on a lot of news, but like I say, I was going to eventually drop the video, but it all, it's a start with Josh Norman going to the Buffalo Bills, um, he struggled all the way, he struggled, uh, and he never found himself in Washington, uh, he was always a zone cornerback. He's not a very good man-to-man -man cornerback. Uh, he was always a zone. So, basically, he plays through system, just like in basketball, San Antonio, how everybody. It's just a team thing. It's just basically a, a system offense. Uh, you re really run, unless it was Tim Duncan or something like that, or like I say, that's where you run offense through. But like I say, Josh Norman was really never a good, a good no, number one cornerback in this league. He was just basically a system cornerback basically they play zone to protect Josh Norman but he he got, he was traded he was uh signed by, by the Buffalo Bills I think he can help that corner I think Josh Norman still can be good he's around Tredavious White he's a very very good cornerback Tredavious White is one of the elite young corners in the league and I think Josh Norman is going to be very very good against Buffalo against Buffalo and Buffalo is up and coming team in the AFC especially in the, in the AFC East that's wide open they could very well win the AFC East next year uh, Tom Brady is out of New England hey that's wide open They can, you can expect them probably to be the front runners to win the AFC East the AFC East um, in that division right there with that. Josh Allen, them against Stephon Diggs and, you know, John Brown and stuff like that. They got a great running back. They got a good running back in Devin Singletary. You can expect the Buffalo Bills uh, to win that, probably win that division, be the best team in that division right there. And then, um, uh, like I say, we go up. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, those y'all know, I, I did that video, man. Like I say, how I feel. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, it was uh, going, it was some, him and Bill O'Brien, uh, like I say, had issues. The front office had issues and stuff like that. So, uh, Bill O'Brien, Bill O'Brien let him go because DeAndre Hopkins wasn't going to finish off his contract in Houston. And plus, he wanted another another uh, new deal. He already had three years on this deal. That's unprofessional by DeAndre Hopkins. But what Bill O'Brien said about Hopkins, that's totally unfair, and I get that. But like I say, um, you got to at least finish off your deal. You made you was making $81 million. Uh, come on, man. You got to try at least finish off your three-year deal. You, and it ain't about you. It's about the team. And the Texans let him go. But they got an elite running back for him in David Johnson. David Johnson, when he's healthy, he's a 1,000-yard uh, running back and a 1,000-yard catches out the backfield. Like I say, Lamar Miller might be gone about it. And Carlos Hyde is going to be gone. I'm, I can bet y'all ass on that. Duke Johnson might just stay uh, because he's a number two back. And that's just what Duke Johnson is. And he had a great season last year. Lamar Miller is a starting back, and uh, Carlos High had the best year that he had, so them two might be the odd man's out. Uh, like I said, Jarrell Casey, Cameron Wake uh, was released by the uh, Tennessee Titans. Cameron Wake was released by the Tennessee Titans. Y'all guys in the comment section, let, let me know. Who y'all guys should pick up? Who y'all what what can what what team is fits for Cameron Wake? Uh, we got um, Matthew Judon for the um, uh, Baltimore Ravens who got franchise tag. We got Justin Simmons who got franchise tag. The safe, the very very good safety for Denver. We got Hunter Henry uh, was placed with the franchise tag. Um, we got Xavier Rose who's released. Uh, heard a lot of things about Xavier Rose. He was re uh, released. Xavier Rose was released uh, by the Minnesota Vikings. I heard he was too overweighted. Uh, he was getting burnt a lot last year. And I, it was a lot of games Xavier Rose didn't show up and got burnt a lot. So, 
it's a lot of teams that need a cornerback out there. Uh, like I say, I wouldn't mind for the Texans to get one. Jonathan Joseph gone. I wouldn't mind for the Texans to get a, really get another cornerback out there. I wouldn't mind for the Texans. But like I say, I, I would like us to be a young cornerback. Be a, have a young secondary. That's what I really like. No, no always. I would really like. Uh, I would, we play kind of man to man defense kind of a little bit anyway. Sometimes we mix it up, but we basically a man defense team. Uh, like I say, and it fits well with uh Xavier Rose in there. Uh, Delaney Walker was released, the best tight end. Uh, that the uh Titans have to offer. He was released. Uh, Todd Gurley uh was was released by the Rams and picked up by the um. Atlanta Falcons, he's going to help them out. Devontae Freeman was released by the Atlanta Falcons. Um, he didn't have a great year. He was he was always injured. And Ty Gurley was injured, never got over himself, not, never got back the same since that injury, uh, like I said. But Ty Gurley is definitely a good fit. Take some pressure off Matt Ryan throwing interceptions and Julio Jones. They still got they still got Calvin Ridley. They still pretty good. I mean, like I say, Atlanta still can be pretty good, man. Like I say, they just the defense just got to get on point. The offense Offense can score. The defense just suck ass. That's all it is. Um, Kirk Cousins got resigned. Uh, I believe. Let me see this. I think Kirk. Yeah, Kirk Cousins got resigned this year. Uh, hold on, y'all. Let me go back down. Uh, I think it was a three year deal. I think he got a three year deal. Kirk Cousins got a three year deal. Uh, got a, a good three year deal for Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins. I say Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins. Uh, Kirk. I, well, uh, Kirk Cousins. Okay, y'all. Kirk Cousins. A three-year deal for Kirk Cousins. Um, congratulations to him. He did have a great season last year. Uh, uh, Deion Lewis was signed by the uh, New York Giants. The running back out of uh, Tennessee. He went to the New York Giants to kind of beef up their running game. Kyle Allen was traded from the Panthers to the Washington Redskins. Uh, he's going to be competing with uh, Dwayne Haskins, but I believe that what that's Dwayne Haskins' job. Fuck, fuck with that. That's Dwayne Haskins' job. Uh, uh, Kyle Allen got exposed. Kyle Allen got exposed. He haven't been right ever since the San Francisco game, pretty much. He, he was exposed in that San Francisco game, so hey. He was exposed in that. Uh, Melvin Gordon uh, went to the Denver Broncos. Went to the Denver Broncos for Melvin Gordon. That's a big pickup by Denver. Helps they running game out a lot. Uh, Melvin Gordon is still a very, very good back in his league. And I, I believe a fresh start was very, very good for uh, Melvin Gordon. Nelson Aguilar went to the Oakland Raiders. Um, He's been coming on the last couple of years. Um... Byron Jones, the cornerback out of uh, Dallas, went to the uh, Miami Dolphins. Um, Manuel Sanders was released by the was uh, released was traded. I believe was traded to the uh, New Orleans Saints. That's pretty good. Uh, good receiver by uh, good receiving core right there in uh, New Orleans. Michael Thomas, and then you add uh, Emmanuel Sanders. Uh, ha ha! Clint Dix, the cornerback out of Chicago, went to the Dallas Cowboys. Chicago Dallas do need secondary help. Darius Slay, one of the best cornerbacks in this league that have to offer that played for the Detroit Lions. He went to the um Philadelphia Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles definitely need secondary help. They they secondary stinks bad, and Darius Slay is very, very good. And that's one of the elite cornerbacks in the league. Joe Flacco got released as he should have been released. Uh, haven't did nothing since he got paid. Clay Matthews was released. Um De uh Dante Fowler went to the uh Dante Fowler Jr., a very, very good uh, defensive end, went to the Atlanta Falcons. I like that move uh, by the Atlanta Falcons, getting Dante Fowler Jr. Uh, Bruce Irving went to the uh, C back to the C uh, went back to the Seattle Seahawks. Great job by Bruce Irving. Now Seahawks, I think he won that, his first title with them. Chris Harris Jr. went to the uh, San Diego Chargers. He been in trade rumors all for the last two years. He finally gets a fresh start. A great cornerback. Along with Casey Hayward, too. That's going to be a great uh, one-two combo right there by uh, the San Diego Chargers adding Chris Harris Jr. and Casey Hayward. Uh, Nick Foles was traded to the Chicago Bears. Uh, he's going to be, he's going to go in there and put some fire up under, up under, uh, Mitchell Trubisky's ass. That's good competition right there. Malcolm Jenkins went to the, um, Malcolm Jenkins went to the New Orleans Saints. Another big deal. New Orleans is kind of trying to win a championship this year. They're not trying to play no games in a good pickup by the uh, New Orleans Saints and a big loss in that secondary by the Philadelphia Eagles uh, losing Malcolm Jenkins. Jarrell Casey 
uh, went to the Broncos. Uh, you got uh, Eric Reed was released by the Carolina Panthers. Uh, Gerald McCoy uh, signed by the Dallas Cowboys. That's a good pickup by the Dallas Cowboys of getting um, of getting Gerald McCoy uh, the beef up that defensive line, get some pass rush. Uh, Tom Brady uh, went to the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, that was kind of a surprise. I thought he was gonna find a way to stay, but uh, you're gonna see start y'all gonna start start seeing players going to go play with Tom Brady. Plus, you got Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, pretty is pretty goddamn good good receiver right there. That's a pretty good receiver. You got uh, Derek Watt, JJ Watt brother going to the uh, Steelers, and you got Thomas Davis going to the. To the Redskins, Phillip Rivers going to the Colts. As everybody, uh, as everybody suspect, uh, he got his old coaching staff over there, and plus, uh, that's a bit best fit for him this time in his career because they got a great offensive line, a great running game as well. Vic Beasley goes to the Tennessee Titans. You got uh, Jordan Howard goes to the uh, Miami Dolphins to beef up their running game. Uh, Corey Littleton is signed by the Oakland Raiders. Teddy Bridgewater goes to the Panthers. He will be a starting quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. Cam Newton was released. He's going to find a home. Either San Diego is going to be good with him, for him or New England is going to be good for uh, um, Cam Newton. Like I say, San Diego or New England. Either one, how how it goes, however you want to do it. Uh, Glo uh, Robert Quinn was signed by the Chicago Bears. He had a great season last year for uh, the Chicago Bears, for the uh, uh, Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Schroeder, Schroeder, uh, which one? Schroeder went to the... Uh, Jacksonville Jaguars and Londa, the best, the one of the uh, good linebackers for the Cleveland Browns. Austin Hoover's off. Austin Hooper from the uh, Atlanta Falcons, big tight end, goes to the uh, Cleveland Browns. Uh, Randall Cobb goes to the Houston Texans. That's an okay pickup for the Houston Texans, but it doesn't make up for DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, but that he Randall Cobb is pretty good. He's pretty okay. Uh, Blake Martinez went to the New York Giants. Uh, Stephon Diggs was traded to the Buffalo Bills. It's Buffalo Bills are going to be very, very good this year, guys. They're going to be very, very good, I'm telling you guys. Uh, Marcus Mariota goes to the Raiders. Jimmy Graham goes to the Chicago Bears. Um, Kyle Van Noy goes to the Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins getting that, getting that defense a little beefed up. Uh, Jamie Collins goes to the uh, goes with his old defensive coach, uh, Matt Patricia, to the uh, Detroit Lions. Uh the Forrest Buckner was traded from the uh was traded from the San Francisco 49ers to the Indianapolis Colts. Indianapolis Colts. And I believe the Texans are gonna be competing for the division again. Uh like I said. Um uh, Tennessee as well too. Tennessee is gonna be uh competing as well too. I still think the Texans is gonna be okay, uh, okay football team. Uh Hayden Hurst uh was traded to the Atlanta Falcons, so they get a uh they get a uh after they lose Austin Hooper. They they get um uh, they get another tight end back in Hayden Hurst, uh Anthony Harris, franchise tag, uh Eric Flowers, uh goes to the uh, Buffalo not Miami Dolphins, Kenyon Drake franchise tag, uh Green Green franchise tag, that Prescott franchise tag, Derrick Henry franchise tag. AJ Green, franchise said, Devontae Freeman. Release. Franchise tag by Bud Dupree. Shaquille Barrett. Franchise tag. Uh Christian Kirksey goes to the Green Bay Packers as well. Uh that's all the news for me, guys. Uh that's all the news for me, guys. Comment. Calais Campbell goes to the uh the Baltimore was uh, traded to the Baltimore Ravens to beef up that defensive line. That's the end of the video, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe, guys, on this video. Uh, what y'all think about all these moves? Uh, what team uh, won in free agency? And like I say, give me, give me, give me y'all, give me y'all perspective on this, guys. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm out. Uh, much love. Peace, guys. Uh, like I say, I think the Buffalo Bills can win the AFC East now. I think it's theirs for the taking. Thank you, guys. I am out. Peace.